Hi, my name is Richard Nolette the third. I am a first year seminarian for the Diocese of Marquette. I am from St. Gregory's Parish in Newbury. I'd like to offer you a little reflection from today's gospel, which comes from John chapter 3, verse 7 through 15. And this is Jesus speaking to the Pharisee Nicodemus. Do not marvel that I said to you, you must be born anew. The wind blows where it wills, and you hear the sound of it. But you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus said to him, How can this be? Jesus answered him, Are you a teacher of Israel, and yet you do not understand this? Truly, truly, I say to you, we speak of what we know and bear witness to what we have seen, but you do not receive our testimony. If I have told you earthly things, and yet you do not believe, how can you believe if I tell you of heavenly things? No one has ascended into heaven, but he who descended from heaven, the Son of Man. And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. And I'd like to go back to verse 8 where it says, The wind blows where it wills, and you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. I think this is Jesus right here inviting us to trust in him ever so deeply, especially in these seemingly confusing times. He wants us to be sensitive and aware with his presence in our world and in our personal lives so that we can have the will or the ability to, to trust in him ever so deeply so that he may provide us with the freedom that he desires for us. St. Anselm of Canterbury, happy feast day by the way, would always say, For I do not seek to understand that I may believe, but I believe so that I may understand. For I believe this also that unless I believe, I shall not understand. Again, we know that Jesus is the Son of God. He is the Messiah, born of the Virgin Mary, became man, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again and ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. We know that for what he did for us, he frees us from the burden of sin. He is the Messiah. But he did not stop being the Messiah right there. He then gives us the church. He continues to save us through the blessed sacraments. And it all starts with faith, belief in him. And we have to trust in him ever so deeply place more trust in him we have to allow him to touch whatever burden we carry with his love and his mercy and I'd like to invite you all to a prayer that I've really enjoyed after every divine mercy chaplet really sit and meditate through this prayer it's called the litany of trust and it's a prayer that asks Jesus to deliver us from the things that hold us bound placing our trust in his promises. I will be praying for you all in this troubling time. I hope you guys are all doing well. May God bless you and have a great day.